So we're with the Advanced Metalworks Enterprise as well as the Rail Transportation Program at New Rail with Michigan Tech. We're working with the sponsor of CN to, dem er, to uh, show up with a type of cold weather rail defect detection. They're currently using basically a dye penetrant, they're using spot check, which works really well at warm temperatures, but as soon as it starts getting colder outside, it doesn't work as well to gum up. So we're looking at different options for penetrants. One of them is actually a Sherwin's LTP82. It's an alcohol-based as opposed to a water-based penetrant. Basically, we're thinking that that'll work better down to around negative 20. But the problem with that stuff is it actually doesn't work when it's warmer. It'll evaporate out because alcohol evaporates at a lower temperature. So that may end up being something where we'll give CN a couple of different options based on what they're actually doing temperature-wise. Another option we have is actually a magnetic particle detection. We mentioned that to our sponsor and they seemed a little concerned about the availability to put that in the truck to just run it down the line and do a particle detection. And also they were concerned about the cold weather and water wind effects of outside as well. So we came up with this. This is what a, it's called a magnetic viewing film. Basically it's a sheet of plastic. It's got a whole bunch of little bubbles on the microscopic scale. And each one of those bubbles is suspended, suspended in oil is actually a little iron filament. Well, when you put a magnet up behind it, it'll actually show you the magnetic field because all those little filaments actually align with the magnetic fields. So if you take the side of a magnet like so and you have your crack down the edge and you place that over there, you can actually start to see that crack right in this filament as well. We're not sure how well that'll work once you start getting smaller cracks, but that's something we're going to be testing. Another thing we were kind of concerned of was the metal smear caused by actually cutting the rails. We're going to see how we can help that as well.